Hi everyone, it's Miss Natalie here to read the story of the three little avocados. Once upon a time, there was a mother avocado who had three little avocados. The three little avocados grew so big that their mother said to them, you are too big to live here any longer. You must go out and build houses for yourselves, but be careful and make sure that the hipster does not catch you. The three little avocados set off. We will make sure that the hipster does not catch us, they said. Soon they met a man who was carrying some leaves. Please, will you give me some leaves? Asked the first little avocado. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the first little avocado some leaves. Then the first little avocado built himself a house out of leaves. He was very pleased with his house. He said, now the hipster won't catch me and eat me. But the second and third little avocado said, I shall build a stronger house than yours. So they went on along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some tree branches. Please, will you give me some tree branches? Asked the second little avocado. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the second little, little avocado some tree branches. Then the second little avocado built himself a house of tree branches. It was stronger than the house of leaves. The second little avocado was very pleased with his house. He said, now the hipster won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the third little avocado. So he walked on along the road by himself. Soon he met a man carrying some wood plank. Please, will you give me some wood planks? Asked the third little avocado. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the third little avocado some wood planks. Then the third little avocado built himself a house of wood planks. It took him a long time to build it, for it was a very strong house. The third little avocado was very pleased with his house. He said, now the hipster won't catch me and eat me. The next day, the hipster came along the road. He came to the house made of leaves, which the first little avocado had built. The hipster knocked on the door and said, little avocado, little avocado, let me in. No, no, said the little avocado. I will not let you come in. Then I'll shoot and I'll shoot with my Nerf gun and I'll destroy your house, said the hipster. So he shot and he shot and the house of leaves fell down and the little hipster ate up the first little avocado, turning him in to guacamole. The next day, the hipster walked further along the road. He came to the house made of tree branches, which the second little avocado had built. The hipster knocked on the door and said, little avocado, little avocado, let me come in. No, no, said the little avocado. I will not let you come in. Then I'll shoot and I'll shoot with my Nerf gun and I'll destroy your house, said the hipster. So he shot and shot and the house of tree branches fell down and the hipster ate up the second little avocado, turning him into avocado toast. The next day, the hipster walked further along the road. He came to the house made of wood planks, which the third little avocado had built. The hipster knocked on the door and said, little avocado, little avocado, let me come in. No, no, said the little avocado. I will not let you come in. Then I'll shoot and I'll shoot with my Nerf gun and I'll destroy your house, said the hipster. So he shot and he shot, but the house of wood planks did not fall down. So the hipster was very angry. He thought, this is a clever little avocado. If I want to catch him, I must pretend to be his friend. So the hipster said, little avocado, if you'll be ready at 12 o'clock, I will take you to have a nice brunch and have some nice rainbow cake. Very well, said the little avocado. But the third little avocado was a clever little avocado. 
he knew that the hipster just wanted to eat him. So the next morning, the third little avocado set off to have some brunch at 11 o'clock. He filled his basket with two big rainbow cakes, then he hurried home before it was 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, the hipster knocked on the little avocado's door. Are you ready, little avocado? He said. Oh, I've already been to the coffee shop, said the little avocado. I filled my basket with two big rainbow cakes and I left you one at the doorsteps. The hipster was very angry, but he still pretended not to be. He went to the little avocado's house and knocked on the door. Little avocado, he said, if you will be ready at 12 o'clock at noon, I will take you to a vintage store. We will have some fun and buy some clothes. Very well, said the little avocado. At 11 o'clock, the little avocado set off to the vintage store and he bought himself a scary mask and a giant razor to scare the hipster away. As little avocado was going home, he saw the hipster coming up the hill. The little avocado was so very frightened. So he put on the scary mask and grabbed the giant razor. He began to run down the hill to scare him the hipster was so frightened for his beard that he ran away as quickly as he could. The little avocado was so happy that he went home with a big smile. The next day, the hipster came and knocked on the little avocado's door. He said, little avocado, I did not go to the vintage store yesterday. A scary guy came running down the hill with a giant razor and scared the heck out of me. Ha <laughs> ha, said the little avocado, that was me. When the hipster heard this, he was very, very, very angry indeed. He said, little avocado, I'm going to eat you up. I'm going to climb down your chimney to get to you. The little avocado was very frightened, but he said nothing. He put a big pot of coffee on the fire to boil. The hipster climbed on the roof, then he began to come down the chimney. The little avocado took off the lid from the pot. Into the pot fell the hipster with a big splash. And that was the end of the hipster. The little avocado was too clever for him. The end. Thank you so much for joining me today as we read the story of the three little avocados.